If you're taking online classes, chances are you're going to be using the Lockdown Browser. And if it's your first time using it, it can be a little quirky. My name is James. Welcome to Raising Your IT IQ. Today, I'm going to show you how to install and launch the Lockdown Browser on PC, Mac, and iPad. I won't be covering Chromebooks because the Lockdown Browser extension is just too finicky and unreliable. If you have a Chromebook and need a Windows laptop, you can go check one out from the library for free. Also, since this video is going to be a little longer, I'll put time codes on the screen and in the description so you can uh, jump to the section you need. So let's get into it. Uh, the first part of this process is going to be the same for PC and Mac. Uh, first, you'll want to download the Lockdown Browser from your course, and you should have a module called Start Here. And then if you scroll down, you should see uh, Start Here 5.2 uh, Security and Privacy. On that page, you'll see a link to download the Respondents Lockdown Browser. So you just click on that link. And to make it easier, I'll put this same link in the uh, description down below. So once you click on that link, it'll open up this PDF, and you just scroll down and click on the download button. And then you'll want to click on Install Now. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it'll take you to the Mac version. If you're on Windows, it'll take you to the Windows version. So now we just want to save the file. And I'm going to save this to... Uh, my downloads just because that makes the most sense. So we'll click on save. Now, once that's downloaded, we can click our recent downloads button up here at the top of your browser. Uh, this is the same for Firefox and Chrome. So I'll just click on the file and you'll see this screen. Uh, you just want to click on yes. And the setup will start. So from this point on, the, the installation process will be a little different between Mac and PC, uh, but I'll just start with the PC version first. Uh, so you want to click on next. And then here you want to accept the terms and then click on next. And then you want to click on finish. So now the lockdown browser is, is installed on your PC and to launch it when it's time to take your test, you just want to click on the windows start button down the bottom left. You should see it here under recently added, but you can also scroll down and you'll see a folder called respond is here. Click on respond is and you can launch the lockdown browser. You'll see this screen here and ask if you want to allow it to make changes to the device. Click on yes. And if you have anything running in the background, uh, you'll want to close all those processes. So you just want to click on close process. And you might have to click that a few times depending on how much you have running. Now you can just sign into your student account and um, navigate to your quiz and take it as normal. So one thing to note with PCs, if you have a gaming PC that has uh, RGB and RGB software, you'll want to turn that off. Um, sometimes, if you've ever played COD or DVD, you know that the RGB software can trigger the anti-cheat. Uh, same principle applies here. So you just want to disable your RGB software um, so that it doesn't interfere with the Lockdown Browser. Now, it doesn't happen very often anymore, but it is worth noting. All right, so now I'll switch over to the Mac, and the process is going to be a little bit different, and there are some other things to note here as well. Uh, after you've downloaded the install file, you want to launch it and run the installation. So just like in Firefox and Windows, you can click on the uh, recent downloads button. You want to click on the zip file. It'll unzip that file for you. And then you just want to double click on the, uh, the PKG. And you'll get this message here that says uh, this package will run a program to determine the software can be installed. So you want to click on allow, and then you want to click on continue. You click on continue again, click on agree and then click on install. Now here you have to put in your Mac password, not your PBSC password. All right, and then you'll click on install software. All right, so now it'll tell you that the installation was successful. You just wanna close that. And then when it asks you if you wanna keep the installer or move it to the trash, go ahead and move it to the trash because you don't need it anymore. Now before you use the lockdown browser, there's one thing you need to check for. So what you'll wanna do is come over here to the top left and click on the Apple icon. You want to go to system settings and then you want to come down here to general and then click on sharing and you want to make sure that you turn off remote login and remote management close that out and now what you can do is in your finder you'll click on applications and you'll scroll down to the lockdown browser you can already see it here and so now you'll just double click on the lockdown browser and then it'll launch now, just like the Windows version, if you have any process you're running in the background, it'll ask you to close applications. Uh, if I don't have any applications running, it'll just go ahead and launch here. 
All right, so now all I have to do is sign into the student account and go and take my exam as normal. Now, when you start an exam, uh, every time you do, the Lockdown browser will run you through the webcam check and basically just make sure that your webcam is running. So you want to uh, show your ID, your student ID. You'll have to uh, turn the camera around and show your environment just to make sure nobody else is there. Uh, and then you can take your exam. Now let's switch over to the iPad and I'll show you how to get the Lockdown browser there. So here we are on my iPad. Bonus points if you can name the anime this wallpaper is from. So we'll open the App Store. We'll do a search for Lockdown Browser. And then we'll go ahead and download it. Now it's downloaded, we'll go ahead and open it up. We'll click on Continue. Then here we'll search for Palm Beach State. And now we'll just sign in with our uh, student email address. And now here we'll put in our password. And so now we can go to our class and take our test as normal. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on the Respondents Practice Test, just so that I can show you what this is going to look like. So we want to take the quiz. And when this pops up, it's going to say Confirm App Self Lock. You want to make sure you tap on Yes, or else the browser is not going to work. And so now it just loads the quiz. Now, if this test required a webcam, uh, your webcam would open up, and you would see your face, and you'll show your ID. It'll run through the normal webcam check. And that's all there is to it for using the Lockdown Browser on the iPad. Just one quick note about the iPad uh, version of Respondents Lockdown Browser. If you have the Canvas app installed at the same time, uh, you'll have to delete the Canvas app and then use a the Lockdown Browser. When you have both apps installed at the same time, they cause issues with each other and uh, the Lockdown Browser just will not work. Now, if you have any other questions regarding the Lockdown Browser, you can email my department, eLearningSuccess at palmbeachstate.edu or you can give us a call at 561-868-3303. That's all I have for this episode of Raising Your ITIQ. If you have a topic you'd like me to cover, please send me an email to gasj at palmbeachstate.edu with ITIQ in the subject line. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.